Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First of all, I would like to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos and you watch them, like them, share them and especially if you subscribe, I'm truly grateful for it. But what makes me even happier that you are back for more. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to give you a big welcome. I'm very glad that you found me and I hope that this reading is going to be uh, helpful for all of you. Today we're going to take a look what kind of energies you can expect in the month of August in the areas of love and relationship. But as usual, this is a general reading, so please take whatever it is and leave the rest. So, the center of your card is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is all about independence, living in luxury, and uh, reaping the rewards for what you've been doing. So what does that mean in terms of relationship? If you're single, this card can actually indicate that you are enjoying being, being single. You are very picky and uh, you are not settling with anybody um, because you have high standards. If you are in a relationship, this is uh, the card that indicating that uh, you've been reaping benefits of the relationship. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. And your partner is giving you the freedom you need to pursue your passions. Um, so, so all in all, it's a great uh, card. It's a great energy to have. Your readings start with the King of Swords. The King of Swords can be a person that is indicating you, or somebody you're dealing with, or the energy of the card. Uh, this card is somebody. This person is somebody who's very structured, very organized. Uh, loves the truth and uh, uh, he is straight to the point sometimes can come across as a, as a cold person but he's not he just uh, like to be he's a straight shooter uh, so this can be that maybe you are dealing with uh, somebody with this energy is coming into your life or is in your life uh, you might be getting an advice from somebody who is who has this energy who is very straight to the point and and sometimes whatever they say is painful, but, you know, try not to uh, listen to the words as they are, but more to the meaning. Uh, King of Swords can be somebody like a judge or a law enforcement as well. So take it as it resonates. The next card we do have here is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune indicates uh, the all-changing life, uh, that it's always turning and uh, moving. Uh, what this uh, kind of means that um, things are changing for you for the better. And the universe is working with you, co-creating with you to bring something better in your life. Uh, so what does that mean? Um, it really depends on how, what is your situation right now. If you are single, this is a card that's indicating that it's a great time for you to meet somebody. You're going to be at the right place at the right time and, and you're going to meet a, a, a great uh, relationship and your love life is going to become better. If you're in an exi existing relationship, the Wheel of Fortune is indicating that uh, the universe is is kind of working uh, on some changes for your favor. So if the relationship is great, this can indicate that the relationship is turning to be more stable, um, more um, more reliable. It can also mean uh, that uh, engagement, getting married. If you're in a bad relationship, the Wheel of Fortune might bring you uh, to the end of that relationship. So a better and a more fulfilling one is coming into your life. And you do have the sun here, which is the most positive card. It's indicating that you are radiant. You are actually uh, very attractive uh, this time. So if you're single, I can see that uh, some happiness is coming into your life. And even if you are in an existing relationship, the sun is uh, showing that uh, prosperity uh, happiness, uh, positivity is uh, on uh, on your way. Uh, sometimes the sun can uh, shine light to certain things, how to fix things. Uh, but all in all, what I can really see here is 
that the Wheel of Fortune is bringing some positive change into your life, into your love life. The next card we have here is the Knight of Swords. Again, the Knight of Swords can be you, a person you're dealing with, or uh, the energy of the card. He is uh, very uh, devoted to uh, finalize whatever is in front of him. He's very task oriented. Once he starts something, he definitely wants to get it done. Sometimes he goes against uh, the norms as well. Um, but the card can indicate some kind of a major change in your life. So, um, and, 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 and this is a f another fast moving card. Uh, and and the change it, it is bringing for you it is something that you've been wanting so if you're in, uh, if you're single uh, I think some kind of a relationship comes into your life very fast if you are in a relationship it means that the relationship speeds up as and uh, it might get to the next phase next phase of getting married um, and uh, getting engaged, whatever the status is. Uh, in some instances, it can in also indicate that if the relationship is not so great, that the other party might be thinking of leaving uh, uh, the relationship. I think whatever change you are ahead of you, it will be a positive change. It's gonna become uh, very fast, but you know, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, which is uh, definitely indicating that a uh, something positive is ahead of you your next card is the two of swords the two of swords is um, all about indecisiveness when you have a choice to make and you don't know how to make it but deep down you know what is the answer so for some of you this can indicate that you might have to choose whether you want to stay single one or you want to get married or one you want to whether you want to stay married or get or become single independent uh, maybe some of you have to choose between two people the king of uh, swords or the knight of swords uh, so whatever the decision is it it is not uh, coming to you easily uh, and um, this card is always telling you that you listen you need to listen to your inner guidance your instinct to make that decision and you're going to make the right decision uh, in some instances <clears throat> this can indicate a conflict where you are sitting between two people it can also be a sign that if you're in a relationship that you are you have a conflict where you you both of you kind of came to a, a still uh, still stand and uh, and um, you're not able to come to an agreement but let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe because that's an indication that the reading resonated with you and <clears throat> helped you. And you can also help me to grow the channel and making sure that the message gets out to more people. And for you, that's just a push of a button. So I hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons. But I'm always uh, happy to read in the comment what's happening in your lives. <clears throat> So for this one, we actually ended up having two cards. <clears throat> I'm only seeing that, seeing that when I uh, turn the cards around. So you do have two cards, the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. So the Five of <clears throat> Swords is indicating some kind of a conflict, a conflict that is <clears throat> rooting in communication or the lack of uh, of it and and generally this is kind of um, gives that energy when everybody wants to win and nobody does <clears throat> the seven of pentacles is all about evaluating when uh, you are trying to see okay is it something worth to continue is this conflict something that i can fix is it something that i can resolve and you're kind of seeing that all the work, all the efforts that you put in, uh, can I get it done? Can I, is it worth? Um, if you're single, uh, this can, this uh, card can indicate that, okay, maybe you've been going through a lot of dates and you don't know if you, and, and it hasn't been a great experience. There's lack of communication, not a great communication. And you don't know how to 
continue, whether it is worth to continue. Even in an existing relationship, it can be uh, something that um, you're kind of evaluating. You might have gone through some conflict. Is this something that I want to continue with? Is it something that I can uh, fix? Now, uh, the Seven of Pentacles can also be a sign of your manifestations coming uh, true, coming, uh, becoming a real thing. So maybe there's some kind of a conflict in that process. Uh, but let's see what's the next card. The next card is the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles can indicate uh, that uh, you know you are putting a lot of effort into something, and uh, the, all of the efforts that you're uh, putting will yield to results. So if you're single, you might be going on dates, you might be talking to people, and you're gonna find somebody uh, as part of this process. If you are in an existing relationship, you're working hard to make the relationship work and you're gonna be able to uh, fix the issues, whatever you have. Now the last, last card we have here is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is uh, it's kind of when you are uh, at the fork of a road and you have to choose uh, which way to go down. Kind of similar to the Two of Swords, uh, but, but here you know where to go. Right, so what, what kind of tells me that uh, from this indecisive situation you're going to be able to get out and <clears throat> by listening to your inner voice you're going to know exactly which way to choose what is the best one to uh, go down. Like, you know, I don't want to kind of repeat the type of decisions you might have to make because we kind of uh, went through of it uh, with the Two of Swords, uh, which is, you know, make it a hard time making a decision and then the two of ones is making the decision so i think you're going to be able to choose the path and it's going to be very clear for you which way to uh, go and the bottom of the deck you do have the six of pentacles which is um, uh, indicating that you're going to have some kind of a help uh, from a higher authority who's going to help you to make this decision so, dear Aquarius, that's all I have for you. I hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again.